Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. A lot of things to talk about, especially earnings. Uh, again, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for spending a couple of minutes uh, of your day to support the channel, like, share, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff that social media tells you to do. I'm asking you as well. So anyway, let's talk about the market. So uh, if you've been watching the tape for the last uh, three, four, five, two and a half weeks, but who's counting, uh, we talked about it yesterday, uh, a series of two and a half weeks of lower highs on the QQQs. They broke down uh, below the 50-day moving average, and yesterday successfully tested the soft landing we've been talking about at 351. The question was, well, can the, bar can the bulls uh, sustain something more than just a dead cat bounce? and break this impressive cycle of lower highs, lower lows. Well, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, that's what happened today. Uh, if you look at the scoreboard today, the bulls actually did nice, right? Did nice. Uh, the Dow rebounded uh, 200 points, basically erasing the losses uh, that they had yesterday. The S&P gained 30 points, and the NASDAQ that was up 30 points yesterday uh, was up an extra 121 points today, or a little bit less uh, than 1%. Now, the question is, did they reclaim the previous day's channel? No, that's the point. Uh, not yet. Okay, not yet. And there's uh, there's a big question uh, going into tomorrow's session, and we'll answer that in a second. But you can clearly tell here, and this is kind of the whole point of why technical analysis matters, why understanding where your supply zones matter. So here are the cues, right? Here are the cues. Uh, last week, they lost at 59 level, and the next day, the previous high was the 60 area. Everybody see it, guys? On 1020, the high here was 360.04. Today's high was 359.91, right? So the cues got rejected now. Back-to-back uh, -back days, well, not back-to-back, -back, the last two out of the three days uh, that are trying to reclaim back uh, not only uh, the five-day moving average, but it's trying to reclaim back uh, the 100-day moving average as well, right? So this is a very, very important level. So... If the bulls now, right, if the bulls now want to rally, make this a little bit more of an extended dead cat bounce, again, until we get back above the 50-day moving average, this is all deemed a dead cat bounce because there's no guarantee we're going to get back and reclaim the 50-day moving average. Having said that, this 360 area is going to be super duper important, right? It's got rejected here on October the 20th, got rejected here at the same price uh, out of, uh, today. So 360 for the bulls is super duper important. Here's where the curveball comes in, right? Um, a lot of people believe that the fact that the market uh, did hold the bottom of the range yesterday and started rebounding and today had a pretty uh, impressive nearly 1% rally, the question was, well, can Google and Microsoft put them over the top, reclaim that 100-day slash 5-day moving average and get the bulls at least running again to the next supply zone? Well, we got our answer, okay? Uh, after the close, uh, Microsoft came out with earnings and they were great, right? They were absolutely great. Uh, good positive reaction. Microsoft profit uh, up 27% from Azure. I have no idea what Azure is, but okay, right? Azure uh, growth uh, accelerates. Okay, cool. Is that their search engine? I have no idea what that is. Is that, is that their AI tool? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I have no idea, nor do I care. But Microsoft is surging uh, after the close really, really well. Okay, that's, that's, that's very, very bullish. So now the question was, well, AI, Microsoft, well, the next one up to bat is Google. Certainly, if Microsoft had a good quarter on AI, well, maybe Google is going to have a good quarter as well. And they came out earnings, 11% uh, increase growth returns uh, to double digits. And Google is about to explode with Microsoft. Not so much. So Google is uh, down uh, after the close. Um, and again, this is my whole point. Nobody knows anything. Guys, everybody is guessing into earnings. Nobody has a clue. If you had this report in your hands and, and the report said, Google's Alphabet's earnings are increased by 11% 
right? Growth have now returned to double digits. You'd be long this thing overnight. Again, I've been saying this for years. Nobody has any, has any idea how a stock is going to react after earnings. You could have the report right in your hands and you could still mess it up, yada, yada, yada. Google is down. Not only is Google down, but Google broke the 50-day moving average on its earnings and now it's sitting right around here, this 131, 60s level, which is the linear regression line, which is gonna be a very, very important level uh, going into today's session, tomorrow's session. Now, the question was, right? The question was, well, what happens next? So Texas Instruments comes out with earnings. If you guys remember Texas Instruments from the 80s and 90s, they used to make calculators for God's sake, right? Anybody had a Texas in Instrument calculator? I did, right? So Texas Instruments comes out with earnings, not good, down seven bucks uh, after the close. Snapchat comes out with earnings. Who the hell is still on Snapchat? My son asked me, what's my Snap score? What the hell's a Snap score? It's kind of doing nothing, but again, it's actually doing better than it did in the last three, four quarters because every single quarter it's blown up on earnings. At least now it's doing absolutely nothing. So you have uh, Microsoft doing really, really well. You've got Google, Snapchat, not the Snapchat even matters, and Texas Instruments, that's moving down. And the question is going into tomorrow, what happens first, right? Does Microsoft pull everything up and the QQQs start reclaiming back uh, the five and the 100 day moving average, or does Google bring everything back down? That's a question that we will definitely get an answer to tomorrow. But if you look after the close, and again, you're seeing these, when I, when I first saw the earnings reports, I said, well, Microsoft is a predominant more weight on the NASDAQ 100. Well, things should be moving up. Yeah, not, I thought so, right? Not so fast. If you look uh, after the close, uh, things are down a little bit. Not a lot, but things are down. The only one that is uh, getting hit a little bit uh, after the close is Meta. It's down about four or five bucks. That is a reaction form uh, for Google. Again, uh, you know, the point to click, the ad space, all that good stuff, uh, it's being affected. But if you look at everything else, it's pretty much flat to down a little bit. So we're going to get our answer tomorrow at some point. Uh, we're going to get our answer uh, probably mid-morning of what's going to happen first. But the key is, and this is what we talk about every single day, we want to be prepared on both sides, right? We, we This is a broken record, but it's something that we've been talking about, discussing in nausea, right? For, for many, many years that I've been hosting this platform, that if you're going to be wrong in your research, at least have the common sense, don't fight the tape, right? Don't start, you know, pushing a piano uh, with, with your pinky, right? Wait for something good, wait for something clear, and wait for something to confirm. And that's the name of the game, and that's the approach I try to take uh, every single day. If you look at the action today, again, very, very organic action. That's continued the, the you know, that's continued the theme. Uh, when you have a market that's doing what it's supposed to do off of key levels, that's great for every trader. I don't care what your process is, what your uh, what your approach is, your time horizon. When you have levels that are being respected, when you have levels that are, are being uh, held and built and all that stuff in between, that is a good sign of a good solid market. So going into tomorrow, again, we know our upside value on the Qs 360. We know the downside value of our Qs is going to be today's channel of 355.79 something has to give, right? Something absolutely have to give, and obviously we'll wait for it. Uh, if you look at today's pivots, again, kind of what we talked about yesterday, can these stocks possibly go on a dead cat bounce for a second day? Tesla, NVIDIA, we got our answers to that, right? We got our answers. Unfortunately, I left when NVIDIA finally exploded, but at least we got the answers and the bulls actually did a pretty good job of getting our second day move in. And now we're going to see, because again, we have the price levels for tomorrow, we're going to see if the market can actually uh, pull a third day out of its rabbit hat and push into the 62, 63 level, which is gonna correlate perfectly to the 20 day supply and the 10 day supply uh, as well. So let's talk about some pivots, right? Let's talk about some pivots. Uh, here is, we, we actually had multiple things on Tesla today. Uh, we got one Tesla today. We sold it into supply. We shorted into supply. At one point, Tesla is about to go red Came very, very close, uh, but nice move. Nice little pop on uh, Tesla today. 217 was yesterday's channel. 219 was the channel from two days ago. Uh, they need to confirm for a potential move. Uh, Meta, a minute, uh, uh, Tesla took out both channels, right? And traded right to the five-day moving average, which was a little bit higher of 221. Uh, not only did we make sales there, we got short there. And it was a really, really nice pullback. Look at the move here. You can see on the, the five-minute view. 
Look at the run up here into the five minute supply and look at the move right back uh, that it got rejected. So great job, everybody, for training uh, Tesla, especially both ways. Uh, NVIDIA, unfortunately, I have to say it went when I left. Uh, 433 needs to build and the video went, right? And the video went, it looked, unfortunately, it went into the close after I was already gone. It took out 433 and traded all the way up to uh, 437. Still looks pretty good for tomorrow if it could hold up. Again, that's a key, the key metric, if it can hold up, is again, dead cat balances. Sometimes they're one day, two days, three days. Maybe, you know, maybe they go for a couple of weeks. But the key is until the market reclaims the 50-day moving average, everything has to be deemed a dead cat bounce. I don't care what you call it, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever makes you feel better, whatever makes you float your boat, take it day by day, trade by trade. But again, facts are facts. And I've been doing this for a little bit longer uh, than a lot of people to kind of have an <laughs> open discussion on what it is. This is what it is. So a uh, nice move on the video if you guys I uh, caught it towards the end of the day. Uh, good job there. I unfortunately was in the gym. Uh, Netflix finally woke up uh, this morning. Uh, we talked about this for the last three days. Consolidation, 411 needs to build. Uh, there goes uh, Netflix, right? I thought Netflix was going to have a bigger move. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but Netflix went from uh, 411 all the way up to almost 417. It needs to reclaim back 417 for the next channel uh, to really get going higher. But nice little pop there as well. Uh, Meta never got to this 3.18.80 level. It got rejected twice there in the pre-market uh, and never got back up there. Uh, Apple, uh, 174 rejected on the daily, needs to build. It never got up there. Uh, AMD, uh, 99.30 for builds below can flush, never got down there. Uh, so you can tell it's predominantly Tesla and NVIDIA today. And then came the after hours. Uh, here came the after hours earnings. Uh, I always like to uh, put in uh, after hours uh, potential pivots on earnings. Uh, Microsoft 333 to the upside. The stock is is, is 345 right now. Uh, Google 141 22 to the, to the upside, 134 to the downside. And Google, congratulations for you guys who did catch it. Uh, Google is pressing that uh, 130 level. So tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is uh, put up or shut up for the bulls. We know our levels to the upside. We know we've gotten rejected there two out of three days. Now the question is going into tomorrow's session, can Microsoft pull everything up or can uh, Google pull everything down uh, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we have uh, more earnings, obviously. Let's see what's on the docket for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's earnings, we got Meta, right? We got Meta tomorrow after, uh, after the close. We got Boeing uh, pre-market tomorrow. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that's major. IBM also. Uh, IBM also. Um, I believe that is a T-Mobile. Nothing really crazy. Uh, Thursday is Amazon. Thursday is Amazon, Merck, Intel, uh, Amazon, right? Amazon MasterCard as well, but Amazon's going to be the big ones. And then next week, uh, you have pretty much everything else. Apple, this one, that one. So uh, let's get through tomorrow first before we start working uh, on next week. So that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, we know our levels. Uh, we know uh, we know how important tomorrow's session is for both bull and bear. Because again, if the bulls can't reclaim back uh, the, that sixty, excuse me, that fifth five day slash hundred day supply, we are going to roll over. So if you are a perma bull, let's hope and pray for all your sakes that we get a new channel uh, above that 360 level so we could extend this rally. All right, that's it. Guys, God bless. Everybody have, have a great, great weekend. Freudian slip, it's only Tuesday. Have a great week. Have a great remainder of your day. And with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take